The airlines are saying, U.S. carriers particularly, that ticket sales were just starting to pick up. I say just starting to, but then, of course, there's been the surge or the second wave, whatever you want to call it, in coronavirus cases, and ticket sales, as United have pointed out, have once again started to fall. Northeastern states have restricted travel from hotspots in the rest of the country, so domestic travel, and United says bookings are down steeply from last year. Domestic is off 70%. Recovery in June was short-lived. Uh, international travel is down 87%. Uh, the lastminute.com CEO is Marco Corradino, joins us from Barcelona via Skype. Uh, Marco, so we're not surprised by all of this, but as the summer gets underway, uh, we are seeing a situation that was getting better now deteriorate again. What are you hearing? No, I don't. Um, I don't see it is uh, the situation at the moment because uh, in the last four weeks uh, we saw just a continued increase in, in booking and the conversion rate increase. So more people in the in the past in May or the beginning of June was just searching. Now they are booking, and the last of the queue uh, was uh, UK. That after the announcement of uh, the government and uh, the last weekend. Uh, the, the, the bookings increase a lot. So also the Brits are starting to book in again. So I see uh, in Europe, uh, internal Europe, so local uh, domestic Europe, I see an increase uh, in bookings. For sure, if you compare year on year, we are still at 50% versus last year. Right. But right. Uh, I saw uh, a change in behavior uh, in the last few weeks. <clears throat> Marco, th that, of course, is, is excellent news from the low levels at which we started. The fear, though, surely has to be if economies have to be shut down or there are fears of it, northern Spain, for example, Israel yeah. and the rise in coronavirus cases, if that were to happen in a Germany, France and the UK, then you would see that trend reverse. Absolutely, that uh, could happen. But at the moment, uh, we don't have any sign of this kind of situation. Because if you look at the uh, data point that is very, very important, that is people in the hospital and also in intense care therapy, the hospital are quite empty. So it's not my job talking about this kind of stuff, but this is a reality. What do people want? I know you've done your travel, Herbert, uh, and others. What, what do people actually want to know when they're booking these holidays? They, know, they obviously want to be safe. Safety and health is number one. How can that be reassured to people, to travellers? Well, I mean, I, I think, Richard, that the people now have a binary behaviour. So the people that want to travel, they know the risk, they assess the risk they want to travel. So they are not coming to us about to be reassured about safety. They decide and they go. And then there are people that uh, this summer will stay local and will drive with the car. This is something that happens in Italy, France, Spain, Germany, whatever. Particularly Italy, France, Spain, people remain local. But for the people that decide to travel, not they local. travel. What they ask? What they ask to us is flexibility. Is it? Uh, more, more than safety. Is it possible? It, is it possible to save the summer? Well, uh, yes. Everyone uh, is saving the summer. I think uh, in Spain, Italy, and France, uh, this is happening. For sure, as you correctly say before, the level, uh, if you compare versus last year, the summer is gone. Uh, so we will never see the level of last year this, this year. We, we need to accept this. But if you think that in April, all the world was uh, shut down, particularly Europe, no one was traveling. And if you think where we are now, I am quite positive and happy about it. Good to see you, Marco. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll check in again as Thank the you, summer Richard. moves on. Thank you very much.